Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Joanne and in this video I want to share with you my most used bags and SLGs for 2023. I really love making these videos because it really helps me visually see what bags that I'm grabbing for most of the time. And actually in that sense also tells me what bags work best for me and helps me make a better decision going forward when I'm making these purchases, which I still make mistakes. I still end up wanting to sell uh, certain bags and SOGs that I do pick up, but for the majority of these, I've had them for quite some time. So I'm excited to share these with you and I hope you enjoy. So I'm gonna start off with kind of the most used pieces out of my collection. And this really has to do with work. I go to the work on weekdays pretty much, um, definitely not as much now because I do work from home some of the days, but regardless, I am usually commuting back and forth. And so that is why my ultimate most used bags have to do with work. So one of them I have to say is this matte nap backpack. I have a video of this on my channel, but I honestly use this a ton and I have to be real with myself and I need to stop purchasing more tote bags because I love tote bags but there's only a select few that I do use a lot and otherwise I use this backpack. It's so comfortable, I think it's so sleek. It's a Canadian brand, Matt and Matt. Um, of course, if you want more information, again, I'll link that video below, but I also just love this color of backpack. It's one of my favorite. I love these kind of like sage or like deeper green colors that are a little bit more muted and um, almost faded or like more, I don't want to say pastel, but I love these sort of like jade, celadon sort of greens. Um, or sage. <laughs> and this one also has the rose gold hardware or copper hardware, which I really like as well. I think it's actually my only bag now that does have that colored hardware. And yeah, it's such a perfect size for me when I'm not carrying too many things to and from, but it does fit everything that I usually do need uh, when I go to work. So this is so convenient. I do think it looks really nice as well. And I've had this for a number of years and it's held up perfectly fine. So this is probably my most used bag. And kind of again for work, another most used bag is this Kate Spade tote. And I have multiple videos on my channel of this. It actually still has a bunch of my stuff because I did need to bring my laptop back to work. And this has a fantastic pocket that's really easy to use if you have a 13 inch, but it could fit um, larger laptops as well if you have a case and you can just put it in the main compartment. But this has been amazing. I've also used this, of course, traveling. So this is just an all rounder and it's just been such a good piece to have when I need to carry a little bit extra things to work as well as of course on trips. Lastly on the most used for work specifically is this tote bag. So this is a Longchamp Le Pliage. It's from one of the uh, collection lines and I absolutely love this. I love the look of it. It's a very wonderful navy blue color and it is in the size medium. Um, it used to be called the small size with the long handle but they now refer it to as medium which I think is fitting because it is slightly bigger than um, their old small size and yeah it fits again everything that I need when I'm going to work on a lighter day and of course it's a fantastic option when I do need a tote bag for lugging around more things wherever I'm going and it's so lightweight. It's it's pretty much weightless. So that's what I really love about these Longchamp pieces and I personally do really love the look of them as well. And now for a bag that I almost didn't include in this because I just sometimes forget that I have it is actually this Longchamp energy pouch. So this is what I use to put all of my things like my wallet, my phone, um, keys, all those sorts of things that I would need um, on a daily basis. I stick them in this and then I stick this in my work bag. I almost forgot about this as a natural bag because I always just put it in my work bag. So um, this I would consider a bag though because I do use it when I'm running off if I'm going out for lunch or any of those sort of situations. I then can easily just take this out of my bag, throw it on my shoulder and be on my way and then I don't need to actually carry my full work bag when I'm just popping out to get a lunch. And it's really convenient because then I can have my phone, my wallet, all those sorts of things in this bag. So I don't have to carry it with me or put it in a pocket or anything like that. And I have just everything compact and easily in this bag. And uh, it's a great errand bag as well because it fits so many things, but it's just super convenient, uh, very casual looking, but such a great piece to carry. And honestly, in terms of its wear and tear, 
so far so good. I don't see any wear on the corners which I'm really happy to say so I think this is just such a hearty piece to have. So I do think this is just such a great piece and definitely one of my most used bags. Now moving on, a bag that has definitely been on my channel for quite some time and one that you've seen a lot of is this Prada pouch. This is a Prada nylon pouch which I've added a bag organizer as well as straps to in order to make it into a crossbody bag and I have continuously used this throughout the year. Um, it's just such an easy nylon piece but it has that extra elevated you know Prada uh, branding to it so it's just a really nice piece though and so convenient with it being just an easy bucket bag. Um, it fits everything that I would need on a daily basis and I've always just really enjoyed um, wearing this out. Over the warmer weather, especially when I was going on small trips and things like that, the bag that I ended up using was the Plen Berry bag. So I have multiple videos on this bag as well. And this is definitely one of my most used bags. I think it's such a really nice neutral color. It's in the color taupe. It goes with so many different pieces in my wardrobe. I find it such an easy bag to use. It's easy to grab and go with the little top handle here. And it does have a nice adjustable a crossbody strap as well. So really convenient to use when I'm out and about and I need to be hands-free as well. Um, and I just really love the look of this and I find it brings a little bit of elegance to some of my outfits, especially when I'm going a little bit more casual and it just goes with so many different uh, scenarios as well. And a great piece for me, I find actually going on trips because it does kind of meld well with more dressier pieces I find as well as a really casual. So next I have this Louis Vuitton um, Truce makeup pouch. It's a vintage piece, they no longer make this, uh, but this is such a fantastic little mini crossbody bag. It fits my phone, my wallet, keys, just the essentials, and it's such a great piece to grab and go. And it's very hard wearing as well. It's just leather and coated canvas. Um, and I just have a brown leather strap that I purchased to go with this as well. Um, and for me, it fits my body really well, I find, and it, Actually, for the size of it, fits a lot of things. So really love this and wore this a lot. Now, I always find myself grabbing this piece when it comes to the fall and winter time, and especially for a lot of events, I end up grabbing this piece right here. So this is a Coach Parker 18, and it's in the metallic gunmetal leather, as well as the um, black copper or like the gunmetal black hardware uh, that Coach uses for a lot of their pieces as well. So this is such a wonderful piece. It has the chain strap with the leather woven in it. So I find it's really nice for dressier occasions and the size is perfect. I find it fits everything that I need and I find that it does go with a lot of different outfits as well. So I'm a huge fan of this piece and I really wish that they would bring something like this back. I think their current uh, line that is comparable is probably their Madison, but I'm just not as in love with it as compared to their old Parker 18s, especially this size. Not so much the bigger one, but this size I think is absolutely perfect. And lastly, on my most used bags is actually this Coach Hobo crossbody. I know I only recently purchased this, I think back in November, but since I purchased it, I have used it a ton. It's been such a great piece. I even worn it to more of a dressier event because you can take off the long crossbody straps that it comes with. And so I just used it as a little shoulder bag. I just find that with the black on black, it matches pretty much everything in my outfit. Uh, it's really hard wearing and it fits everything that I need. So this has been absolutely fantastic and I've worn this a ton so really really happy that I did purchase this. So now moving on to my most used SLGs for 2023. I'm really only focusing on uh, wallets or card holders uh, in this category but uh, I did find myself grabbing I'd say two different pieces on a consistent basis and both of them are Louis Vuitton. So the first one is this Louis Vuitton business card holder. This is a perfect compact wallet. So thin, so easy. It fits in literally every bag that I have and it's been just so nice. It's a little bit more subtle too with the on front leather. It's less like in your face with like their traditional canvas I find, uh, but this has been fantastic. It fits all the cards that I need 
easily fits cash folded once in the uh, main compartment as well so I've just found this such an easy piece to use and I found myself grabbing this over and over again and the other piece that I've been grabbing also is also from Louis Vuitton and it is this little wallet. I actually have a video uh, quickly showing and comparing both of these together because they are very similar in size and this one is a vintage piece. They no longer make this anymore unfortunately but you can therefore grab this on the secondhand market usually for a really good price. This is in their traditional of course coated canvas and this is fantastic. It has a really nice convenient pocket. You can put coins, you can fold up cash, and you can stick additional cards in this compartment. And then on the other side, again, easy bun closure, and it just has these two cord slots here and another slot here. This has been absolutely fantastic. I've worn it a ton and it's just super compact again, which is definitely what I usually go for. But both of these definitely fit more than a traditional card holder, yet they are really barely bigger uh, in terms of the space that they take up in my bags in comparison to those card holders. So yeah, that's my video on my most used bags and SLGs for 2023. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what types of bags or which bags that you reached for on a consistent basis for 2023. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you as always for subscribing, watching my videos. I really appreciate it. But aside from that, if you have any comments, questions, anything, leave those down in the comment section and I will do my best to answer any questions. But aside from that, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.